Hey guys! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back. We went to Reddit to get you guys some hilarious and not so hilarious reasons why you can't stay in this relationship. <laughs> no, 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 not for you. Let's talk about it. Let's go. It's so one on one tonight. Do, do, tonight. Do, do, do. Ah! So, jumping into this Reddit. Yeah, let's jump right in. Obviously, number one is cheating. Oh, definitely. Stealing. Oh, yes. Lying. Uh-huh. And the number one, I think, and the most serious one, uh, abuse. Oh, definitely. No. So, off the bat, everybody, boy, girl, any gender, queer, we don't tolerate that. You can't do it to us. We're not going to do it to you. Nope. Just don't do it. Just if you want to be with somebody else, just go. leave. If you want to steal, like, work hard and get your own thing, man. I don't know why we need to Seriously. be doing all that. Like, it's it's just like, hmm. So, no. So, just off the bat, we'll get the, you know, the really serious ones out of the way. Because yeah. <laughs> those are our no-goes. Inability to admit he, she, they are wrong. What do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, that, yeah. You it's, have to tell me that, you know, you're sorry. You apologize for what you did yeah. and how are we gonna get into a fight and then at the end of the day if it was your fault or my fault we don't excuse ourselves and grow from this uh, moment that we just had together so it's like you didn't really grow we're just gonna bring repeat, it on. so it's a repeat the cycle again. yeah like, and no. i don't think that's cool so yes if you cannot if you cannot admit that you are wrong baby you got to go, go. <laughs> Their phone is more interesting than me or she really? or he. Really? Yeah. Come on now. Like, do you think? Have you seen this? this? Yeah. What? Mm, no. We work hard, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, you better put that phone down? back down. Like, literally, when I go out with friends and like with her, we have the, like I literally will take the phone and put it down, and it's just it's our time. Like, okay. I give her my full attention, and I think your significant other should do the same. Exactly. It's a big it's a big deal. Um, yeah, honestly, there aren't there even games right now where like if somebody's phone oh, dings, yes. you buy the person. Yeah, the person who ha- gets a text first or a call first yeah. is the one who has to buy the mm. whole meal or whatever. Yeah, That's maybe a good this idea. the 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 deal breaker in this <laughs> relationship exactly. was like I'm gonna make this freaking game so that my significant other doesn't touch their phone, mess with that. So yeah, exactly. I would. I think that's a deal breaker. Like if you can't in this moment look at me. Get out. Or have a conversation. Yeah, like, it's because my time. you're always on your phone. Like, we go to this pretty restaurant for me to what? I know I'm going to Instagram my food, but, like, after I mean, that. I mean, <laughs> that's the only exception. Like, yeah. the, first, the first five minutes, yeah. get that good picture. Yeah. And, and then, then after, put the phone away. Let it go, you yeah. know? So, next on the docket, um, one person loves the other more. Ooh. Ooh. What do you think about yeah. that? So it is definitely hard uh, when the other person is so infatuated with you and you're kind of just cruising throughout the relationship. Um, I've definitely been the person who was madly in love. Obviously, when you are falling in love for the first time, it's so romantic, it's so cute, and it's everything you saw in the film. So like, but I don't, I don't think it's a deal breaker. Like I, I don't think, think it's a deal I think breaker. You can, to be honest, I think this is how I look at it. Mm-hmm. If the guy is more into the girl, yeah. then the relationship is going to last. Yeah. You know? But I'm it's not saying vice case. versa. Yeah. But I'm just saying. I mean, it's an emotional toll. It is. And it's a lot of explaining your feelings and all this. But once you get over that hurdle, I think at some point in the relationship, if it is going to be good or like it's going towards a positive um direction you guys are thinking about getting married and all that um the love starts to evolve so it's not just sticking one-sided because now this person sees a future with you so Mm -hmm. um yeah it's definitely it's definitely not a deal breaker i think but somebody (laughs) does believe it i mean if you're a gold digging well it depends i think in this case the girl was probably more in love with a guy because mm-hmm. that's what usually happens. Yes, yeah. the girl's more in love. Yeah, when you're just like saw a puppy, a the puppy dog love exactly. that everybody talks about. Yeah, and you it's see, a bit you much, saw yeah. like a different type of love, and yeah. you're not getting that from the guy. Yeah. Obviously, it's a deal breaker. Yeah, one hundred percent. So definitely in this day and age when um, there are a lot of sugar daddies and sugar babies out there, obviously when you look at social media, you're just like, "Uh, my man's not treating me this way. But let me tell you, girls, those are not real relationships. Not at all. Um, They often probably break apart. And although it's luxury in the moment, there's no love. So um, definitely not uh, one person loves the other more because it's one person has more money than the other. So one person's trying to get at that money. Yeah. 
So you're doing whatever it takes to get at that money. Yeah. So I don't know. If that's what you're thinking, mm -mm. Mm -mm. so definitely not a deal breaker in my Mm -hmm. opinion. But we're not saying if it is or it isn't. It's just a discussion. Mm -hmm. You know, guys, get loose. So another deal breaker that we found Mm -hmm. was someone who is in debt or reckless with money. What do you think about that? If you don't know how to spend your money or save your money in a relationship or handle your money, it's, it's important right now because it's vital. Everything that's happening around us signifies is just talking about Everyone's money it's just about trying your to life up and yeah. you know make a new life for themselves yeah social and- media is like a freaking it's the it's the teacup yeah in get out you know everybody's kind of like i want in i want exactly. i want how in get and in? how do you get in and then once you get in you realize oh it's all debt mm-hmm. and um nothing of substance because it's just empty right you're exactly. just you bought everything that you needed to look amazing and now you're broke yeah. Have you, so, exactly, have you ever realized, like, back in the day, like, you really wanted something, and then you got it, and you're like, okay, but this isn't like, really making me happy. Empty. Yeah, I really you're do. Like, like, this is not make me feel happy. Yeah, yeah. Like, and maybe it does for somebody, like, yeah. let's not take that away from anybody, no, but, um, not at all, but this most is, from of the my time, experience, yeah. how I felt. Yeah. So, I would prefer to be comfortable, and, like, there's all those, like, even going back to social media, all those memes there that show you what um, Bill Gates wears, and, like... In the comparison rich person to versus not the not so wealthy rich. person, and yeah, you look good in the moment, but can you eat after <laughs> this? Are you gonna starve? Uh, do we need to call you an ambulance? Like you Seriously. know. So anyway, so um, yeah, being aware, being aware of your credit score, um, how do you invest in money? Like you know, save and all those things. I think that's it's it's a really important and not spending on like brands frivolous exactly i mean everybody wants to be the brand spoil yeah like spoiled here <laughs> yeah. and there yeah. but like can you afford it after can you afford it? yeah get that sugar daddy <laughs> 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 um okay so um i think it's definitely a deal breaker it's uh it's just like it's it's serious especially yeah. if you are in a real relationship being that this is a deal breaker if you're mm-hmm. in a real relationship with somebody and that person just constantly spending the money instead of saving it um is it really is it really worth staying? Well, if you're spending yeah. it, put it towards a, like one of your goals, you know? Yeah. Like exactly. So just not reckless spending, right? Exactly. So like we are budgeting if we need to budget, we are, you know, thinking of a bigger plan, a bigger goal, we are exactly. investing our money. So it's all serious, but it's true. Like like when that direct like, deposit hits, yeah. so you're not gonna go do and you buy know how much a wedding costs? You know? So if you are gonna do it like thirty grand, do you know how much a house costs? Thirty yeah. grand deposit. So mm-hmm. like just a little things to think about you know like yeah. it's, it's big it's big it's big points so Huge. deal breaker <laughs> but um okay so the next one is um someone who smokes mm. and not only like you know 420 smokes mm. like cigarettes yeah tobacco to- mm. clothes yellow fingers that for me is a deal breaker hair so i do agree with that yeah it's a deal breaker it's definitely a deal breaker huh? it's 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 kind of i'd like ugly like because not only that because think about the people who are heavy smokers yeah like you see them on the street you smell them yeah they're smell they smell like smoke yeah like imagine kissing someone who's a with those lips yeah honestly it is super hard like, not even just the smell mm-hmm. but how they act and i think that would be more of the deal bre- breaker reason for me it's mm-hmm. like yeah you smell bad and you can like cover clean it, it up or yeah. toothbrush, but when you're not in a good mood because you haven't had a small stick oh, it's true it's kind of like Really? And it's also a bit annoying when you're going out to dinner with a yeah. smoker yeah. and they have to leave the table every yes. like five, ten minutes yes. to get a smoke. To either run before, out and smoke or, yeah. Yeah, either before or after yeah. they eat the meal and you're just left at the table like, um, Really? Yeah. Same thing at the club. Um, you're out there with your date and this person keeps like running outside. Like, I'm not trying to go outside. I don't know if you guys know, we live in Canada. Um, it's freezing. It's cold. <laughs> Most of the time. You gotta wear jackets we, for a reason. <laughs> we, <laughs> We literally look fly, and we're in a beautiful dress, and you want me to walk outside into the snow with heels so that we can watch you smoke, like... And freeze and, my tail off? And, no. And the music in the club is... is that way. Is, is pumping, is jumping, like, can't... Ah, that's my track! Like, that's my track! That's my track! 
sitting outside yeah. like, oh, like, oh, oh, my God, it's so damn cold, it's so damn cold. That's not the yeah. dance I'm trying to, that's not the life I'm trying to live. Yeah. So I don't know, no. it might be a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. It's, a deal it's breaker just the switch in emotion and the having, having it dictate your life. That's mm-hmm. a little bit much for me, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, so deal breaker. Deal yeah, breaker. Definitely. definitely, definitely, definitely. Guys, what if your partner had no sense of humor? Oh my goodness. That's oh a deal breaker. Oh my God, if that I can't laugh with you. If you can't make me laugh or we can't share a laugh, yeah. what's the point? What what? Why, what are we doing together? What am I, like, you know how many people I like to make fun of? Like, we, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> we, we need a moment. I need to be able <laughs> to react. Angie and I literally go to this restaurant we get the corner seat, you know? Oh right, right my there, we get the corner God, seat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we get the corner seat. Yes. And we people watch, okay? We it's do. a passion. Oh. Okay? It's so fun. You guys yeah. should try it. Yeah. When you go and have a meal and you can look outside the window. Yeah. Oh my God. And you the see stories. everything that happens. The stories, yeah. Oh my God. It's just so God. funny. So like, if I can't have that moment with you, like, no. That exactly. is definitely a deal breaker for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I couldn't. Like imagining in a relationship a with someone with no super laughter. serious. Like you crack a joke, it's yeah. cheesy. It's the like you're like, how dare I say this joke? And the person really doesn't laugh. You're just kind of oh. like, oh, oh, I gotta. I don't know how to act. If pack that your bags. I'd be like, it, it was it, it was funny. Like really? Uh huh. You don't even want just to a little, try. Like, uh-huh. You're rude. <laughs> <laughs> so damn so rude. rude. So rude. So no. So, what do you think about someone who is selfish? Selfish. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. If you only think about yourself, Mr. and Mrs. It's not Ladies gonna work. and gentlemen. Like, if no. You think about yourself only. All the time? Like, no. really? Your time. Mm, your food choice, your, your money. Your money. I mean, like, I get it. You Like, if you did work hard and you feel a certain way and you feel like you've reached a certain level of. Like, I earned it. I should spoil myself. That's fine. Yeah. But, like, when you're in a committed relationship and the majority of the time you're just thinking about yourself, I, I think it's kind of wrong. Like That's super selfish. Yeah. Me. Like, especially towards the person you love. How yeah. can you be that way? Like, it's like, I read this thing about how you you people take love in in different ways. So mm-hmm. some people take it through gifts. Some people take it through, you know, caresses and love and all that stuff. And so, like, if you can't give that person what they're asking for, what, why is this relationship even happening? So it's like... Mm. Why even there? Mm-hmm. Why? I don't know. So I couldn't do selfish. Mm-mm. Selfish. It just seems... Like, selfish <laughs> with your time, as I said before, with your love, with your words, with yeah. your emotions mm-hmm. there's so many things that you can think about that people will just keep to themselves yeah and the other person is wanting that they're just it's craving it i just I don't so that's this is why that, i'm here yeah this is a conversation for another it's true but it's true this is how people just turn and seek it elsewhere it's true okay so <laughs> we'll talk about that later oh. i love it um so another um deal breaker relationship killer <laughs> it's laziness laziness if you cannot get off that couch Mm-mm. stop yeah. playing that video game oh, oh my gosh this applies to girls and guys yeah. because we all know everybody all games know. you know gamers so. out there Ooh, baby unless if you get a, 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 a partner who is a gamer yeah i mean i mean we sound we sound crazy dinner, like but... when you listen to all the deal breakers it's not our deal breakers guys it's it's literally people have told like told us that they want that but like if you are lazy, like, what about traveling? What about, yeah. like, just going to the park? What about the gym? Like, Take don't you want to be gym goals? Exactly. Like, I want to be in the like, relationship. Like, even if you want to have gym goals, but you're not ready, like, even taking a walk with your significant other, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. small steps. Yeah. Going to a restaurant. Yeah. Going to movies. Mm-hmm. I, often t- I often tell my significant other, like, it's, it's just as simple as sometimes we make it out to be too big. Mm-hmm. Like, I want quality time with you, and it must contain a gift, a meal, um, the movie. You know, like, sometimes a walk and a sunset or a yeah. sunrise. Yeah. Girl, have you heard of romance? Like, Seriously. it's cute. Seriously. Like, come on. I know. And that laziness applies to sex as well. Like, oh. spice up your life. <laughs> That's true. Have you heard of the Karma Sutra? Like, mm-hmm. I got the book just over there. Like, <laughs> so, we can look at some uh, poses if you want. But um, it's just funny because, you know, laziness applies to so much. It does. So many aspects of your life. Um, 
And if you're a lazy being within, how can you... How can you, how can you be with somebody it's true. and just hold them hostage pretty much? It's true. So if you don't know you're lazy because you're comfortable doing what you're doing, mm. how are you able to give any affection or any of the qualities that the person is craving? Yeah. Because you don't know, right? Yeah. And it's literally a two-person relationship. It is. Like, you have to give and take. Mm-hmm. So if you're thinking, you're sitting there thinking, you know, well, I don't have to give everything to this other person. It's not that. It's just... You guys chose to be in this relationship, so what are you willing to do? And Mm -hmm. what are you willing to give in order for this to flourish and be a successful relationship? Which I think is what most people are in it for, right? You're not, unless you're doing the one night stand thing, get it. But like, you wouldn't be dealing with this issue right now, right? So we're talking about the long term, the longevity, the people that wants to get married or, (laughs) you know, be in common Or being this relationship for life and for life you know i want to be i don't think a 50 year old couple you know most people who get into a relationship i don't think they look at it as okay well i'm going to be in a relationship with you for six months or two years and then i I can go find the expiry for this (laughs) relationship will be exactly two Two years years. and three days from now Uh do you agree (laughs) (laughs) sign here here, and there sign my contract yes seriously um okay so angie what do you think about the silent treatment oh (laughs) Um, well, <laughs> I think I've given my fair share of silent treatment. Oh, me too. Um, <laughs> so I don't, think that's, I don't yeah. think that's a relationship deal breaker Proper. for me. Yeah. No. Um, just because, I mean, if I don't want to talk to you, I don't know. Like, yeah, talk sometimes you. you just rub us the wrong way. Yeah. And we're talking the significant other right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't take any. Love you, love you, love you. But, um, um, uh, yeah, it's just, it's hard when you're in your emotions yeah. and you're feeling like you're not being heard or like sometimes I admit like it's hard for us to communicate yeah exactly why we're frustrated and maybe during that silent treatment that's us reflecting reflecting we're reflecting we're putting our words together we're saying why am I upset because oftentimes you know sometimes I don't know why I'm upset like something just just rubbed me like what you say like I have to think about it like yeah did, can I form? Can I just put my idea together and then? Say that to yeah, me? I'm formulating my <laughs> my argument for the jury, yes. the judge and jury. Yes, literally. Yes. <laughs> You're like, wait, this person actually just said that to me. Yeah. How am I supposed to feel? What am I supposed to say? Yeah, why did that rub me the wrong way? One, sometimes, yeah, because sometimes when something is said to me, I, I need, I just need a moment. Let yeah. me think about it. Like. I need to know what I need to reply. What's my reply? Feel right over there, yeah. So let me talk about it. And I think the same can be said for the other, um, the significant other, when they're feeling like they cannot communicate with you. Everybody's allowed to take a step back. So I don't know if that's really a relationship deal breaker because I think people who the the person who wrote this, um, like it says, I will not be with somebody that refuses to communicate. Maybe they're just trying to think it through and you're just not giving them enough time. Maybe when you push them to communicate right then and there, you're going to get the blowout. You're going to get the yelling, the screaming, the fighting. And that is when it gets toxic. I get it. But sometimes if you thought, if you let them think about it, then maybe they would, you would have a better outcome. Exactly. A better relationship outcome. And yeah, fights are normal, but... It's it the, depends on what kind of fight you're talking about. Yeah. Because when you're pushing someone to do something that they don't want to do and mm. you constantly push them, yeah. then yeah, the fight is going to be horrible. Yeah. And, and it's going to be just negative impact. And, big blowout. Yeah, big blowout. Yeah. So yeah, so I say let the silent treatment run. And we're not being, we're not talking about the dramatic silent treatment yeah. where like everything's a thing. Like I find when I'm angry, I'm kind of just like, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. If you, if you wish. Like, I don't think we're disrespectful, no. but we're just, like, limiting our interaction because we might actually say something that will hurt your feelings. Mm-hmm. And do we want to do that? No. no. Which means we actually care about you. Mm-hmm. Positive spin. <laughs> I think in my case, my silent treatment is I see you, but I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. I look at you, and then I only speak to you if necessary. Yeah. You know, like... So it's it's within the wanna, boundaries. Do you want to change your channel? Yeah. You know? Do you, are you ready? Like, can we can we do that? Like, dinner's yeah. ready? Do you want to eat? Yeah. I don't think it's negative. No. No. It's a, it's part of life. Yeah. It's part of relationships. It is. Yeah. Check. So the next one is picky eaters. Ooh. Mm. As somebody who loves to eat. Boy. Ooh. You cannot have... You cannot. No. You cannot. No. no. There's not even any words for that. No. no. You need to eat everything. Like, everything. I'm trying to go... To Thailand. 
I'm Seriously. trying to go to Korea. Seriously. I'm trying to, I, these are all in Asia. I'm trying to go to, you know, yeah. anywhere where there's good food. Anywhere. I'm trying to go to Vancouver. <laughs> I'm trying to go to Indonesia here. Like, Indonesia, yeah. Like, I want to be able to, you know, do that picture where the person's, like, holding the hand. You yes. Know? And they're like, and then you're like, follow me. Follow me to another place. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And uh, eat some good bomb food. Because there's so much food out there's here. There's so much it's... to try. There's so many things to, like, taste. Yeah. Uh, I've learned from this one that you have to, have to gotta open. Try. Yeah, be yeah. open-minded. Yeah, you yeah. gotta try. Yeah, it might look disgusting, but if somebody else is slurping that stuff up, but come on, you gotta tell me it's not. And yeah. it's so much fun. Yeah. Like, how could you not want to try? Yeah, like food is so pretty, delicious. Gets goes to your hips right away. You know, <laughs> come on. <laughs> but I'm I understand try, that yeah. it can be scary because, yeah. to be honest, I used to be a picky eater. Mm. Not gonna lie, we don't allow. We keeping it real. We keeping it real. I see super like the biggest picky eater mm. you've ever seen and she's grown though so like Seriously. it's the willingness to try like yeah. so if you are the type to actually try something and then say i don't like it props that's to fine. you yeah. you did good if you tried a second time even better, better. because exactly. you're like the first time you try you know your palate's like not ready exactly but, you know but if you're the one that just looks at the plate and is and like, like uh-uh. never you mind i'll be like but nah, you didn't even try. You like yeah. you don't even know if you like it. Like I think that's a relationship yeah. deal breaker for me. Be just because food is such a big part of my life, and yeah. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm not. Yeah, like, exactly. It's just nah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Here comes a funny one. Okay. 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 Let's what would hear. you do if your significant other revealed to you that they have a toe fetish? Is that a deal breaker? No. Oh, okay, no. so why, so why, no. so why? So, I'm, <laughs> Angie, if somebody's like, I want to lick your toes. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> She's like, like, let me try, oh, let me try. I don't know, it's like, they're like, a little bit. A little, a little, a little. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I guess you can't dig it till you try it, exactly. but it would it's have like to be the in the clear thing, though. Yeah, yeah, true, you true, know? true, yeah. Like, you have to try. Like, what yeah. If, oh yeah. What okay, if you don't know? Facts. Oh, See, bringing it back around. Know, yeah. you, right now, you could be like, "Ew, that's gross. I don't know." But mm. what if someone actually did it to you, and they didn't do it in like the ugly, like way, but yeah. they like, and sensual. you're actually attracted to that person. Exactly. You have, a, you have a relationship. It's not just somebody off the street, right? So all of these scenarios are really people that you are creating a relationship with. Yeah. If you love that person and they said, "I want to suck your toes for you." Would you do it? You love them. Yeah. So I'd be like, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, well, you know, get to... me a bottle of Henny and then we can do it. <laughs> Hennessy's make pregnancies? I don't understand. <laughs> they don't know this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. No. Yeah, don't, but, don't mess with Hennessy, guys. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Um, anything else? Anything but else? if it starts off with like, you know, a foot massage. Mm. With the, you know. Sensual, sensual, sensual. Can't say it. Sensual, sensual. Sensual, sensual. Roll. Shoulder roll. Shoulder roll. Sensual. Sensual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Okay, yes. If it started with the whole shoulder roll. You know. A little bit of. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of. Mm, get in there with the you know the thumbs yeah so no but if it started with like a foot rub or something like yeah. that i think i, I could definitely totally see it um yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, don't knock, knock it, it till you try it, it. so yeah, i don't know I, was, I don't think it's a deal breaker Mm-mm. i think if you have the crusty toes mm, that's not happening but i mean if you take care of your feet but i think if your toe fetish extend beyond like me like if you're like Oh my gosh, that girl All has. Toes. Oh my gosh, that girl has. Yeah. Oh my god, then no. Like yeah, yeah. That's I agree one hundred percent with that. That's like, when yeah. it becomes a deal breaker because I'm like, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna be fantasizing about someone else's toes. All the toes. When you've like got you're online these looking toes at toes over here. Yeah. Like no, 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 no. Yeah. no. That's true. That's true. That's true. All right. So semi deal breaker in different cases. Exactly. Okay, okay, Depends okay. on the situation. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Cool. So we got a couple more left. What about? What do we leave off? Hates animals. Oh, um, Jay. Oh, my God. Becky. You don't like my dog? You don't like my cat? We're not going to do that. My rabbit? Yeah. It's definitely a deal breaker. Let's get off of this one. <laughs> you cannot not love animals. I'm going to call Peta. 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 Yeah. Peta. Yeah. I'm going to report you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like straight up. You know what? If you can't love animals, then you're probably a suicidal, like not a suicidal. Um, um, um. Like I'm not telling you. <laughs> you're that probably you need a to killer. Care of an animal or something, but just like you know, yeah, 
just love. If you gotta get used to it, because to be honest, I had to get used to it too, because I didn't have an animal. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. As somebody who grew up with animals, they're just so sweet. They just and come cute. to the door looking at you like, hi, I waited all day for you. And you're just like, mm. yeah, so definitely, that would be a deal breaker for me if I, like a lot of the talks with my significant other are, when we do get where we want to go, I will do be able to get, get this dog or this dog. It's not even, <laughs> it's not even a question. Can it's we? like, do you want the big dog or the small dog? Because I want a small dog. So are we doing yeah, it? Me yeah, me too. But I also kind of want a big dog because then I actually saw what a big but dog. But we would have, you see, this is the great thing with two people is like, you can get what you want and I can get what I want. Exactly. So I want the small cute dog that wants to cuddle. And, and I can put in my purse. And yeah. Like, we just go, like, you know, hi. Me too. We're walking down this suite. Yeah. And um, significant other wants the big dog that he can go run with. So um, running being the serious word there but <laughs> <laughs> i'm joking taking a but stroll you know taking a stroll okay so yeah so important important I, I think that's important yeah all right okay so what do you think about toilet paper <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's a great under. so this what is somebody's relationship deal breaker can you believe that if Gosh. the toilet paper goes under or over and it's the opposite like what what's your preference actually well my preference mm-hmm. is over over because you know you Pull it down. So I actually had to think about this. I had to go in there and test it out. And I put it under it. Is, am I going to get shot? Like, what, what does that mean? What, what? I don't think. I don't what are the benefits of over and under? I actually don't know. Pullability. Well, I think when it's over, you have straight access, access right away. You have to, like, kind of find under, it from you under. You have to find it, you know? Yeah. That's what I think. I don't know. When I, I set it up, like, I actually did it, like, just a trial and I put it under so I think like I like the idea of it just rolling naturally like to me it feels like it rolls I feel like it rolls naturally on the top you know like no because it. it has to go over the tick 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 it's like a roller coaster to get to the curve whereas where it's just already hanging, hanging. so it's like <sighs> but let that be a great discussion for the topic the comment section down below seriously toilet paper over, over, over or under People, People who, who have, have deal breakers. breakers. <laughs> is that a deal breaker for you? It's a joke in itself. Come it on. Is. If you have this many deal breakers, if if there are more than three on this list, you need Jesus. No, seriously. <laughs> but I think people do have, you know, a list yeah. of things that are deal breakers mm. to them. However, when they get into the relationship and they're just like, oh, but I like this person. But yeah, then they're like, I mean. I think there's more of a leeway yeah. and you tend to like let things slide. It doesn't like love conquer all. It so, does. So you um, just either, you know, find a way to deal with it and be mm-hmm. like, you know what? It doesn't bother me. Yeah. Or you're just like, okay, you know what? I can't deal with it. I'm going to have to let this person go. Peace. Yeah. Bye. And like, it's just, it's important. It's, it's just funny because. If you have this list of deal breakers coming in already, then you must have been burned from your other relationship, which yeah. means you're doing the exact opposite of what you did in the last one, which mm-hmm. means you're already coming with set like Rules real and... reasons why this is going to fail and yeah. and uh, reasons to look out for, like you're looking yeah. for a reason to leave. Exactly. So, I don't know. Maybe you need to break. Maybe you need single time. Single time. Because single and ready to mingle is okay as well. It's you know? good. So yeah, don't don't go straight into another relationship if you already burned and peeled alive by the other one just mm-hmm. before it. Um, you won't have as many deal breakers, I think. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Keeping in close touch with the exes. It's such a hard no. It's such a... Why does your past need to be in your future? They're like, your exes yeah. for a reason. For a reason, yeah. They they were the list of deal breakers <laughs> that exactly. the other guy just let go. Yeah, yeah. so no, they no, no, were no, yeah. the part of you that you didn't want. Yeah. So why do you still need to keep in contact? I definitely feel like it's a big deal breaker. Um, no. Like, yeah. I don't want to hear Anyone who needs to that talk. you're talking about um, all these things. Like, you're talking about your exes every two seconds. Or you're exactly. talking to them. What are you talking about? What are you... T- exactly. What, why do you need to... What conversation are you having? Them? Why do you need to hear their voices? Mm. I don't understand. It's like, no, 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 no. no. Yeah. Case of the ex. Oh. As Maya would say. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Definitely. you're trying to get what's mine. I have now stepped into this relationship, yeah. and you can see yourself out. Bye. Yeah. Which but. you already did, but now you're trying to... Now you're trying to get back. Get back. Why? No. You like what, what you see? No. He's better with me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So yeah, so no to that. No to that. No to that. What about being fake? If your significant other was actually not who they said they were. Yes, I'm down to go here. Yes, I'm down to do this. But internally, they're stewing, they're angry, they're mad, and they're just not being their authentic self with you. 
That would crush me, honestly. I would I feel mean, like everything was a lie. If someone's pretending? Yeah. Yeah, that is a deal breaker. Like, are you trying to... Why are you pleasing me? Yeah. Like, this is like the other spectrum of selfish mm-hmm. is where, like, you're just so ready to do whatever I want and whenever I want it and it's just not even real anymore. No. Is my relationship with you real? Like, are you actually down to take this car ride to Toronto to this other place? You know, like, to see the things that I'm interested in seeing. Like, are you actually down or are you just fake Mm -hmm. don't be fake no yeah i it's it's worse for you at the end of the day like there's no point of it would be so bad for me like to be not myself and just be like whatever he wants like (laughs) it's true if someone's not themselves in a relationship there's really no point of being in that relationship so i mean if you feel like you're starting something with someone who you really like but then you can't be yourself yeah you can't you feel like you have to step your game up because i feel like the best example would be like you feel like you're not enough Mm -hmm. for them so you gotta step back once one and just reassess and ask yourself am i worth it i'm worth it yeah are they worth my time yeah yeah because it's true exactly like but it's self-worth like so need to know that you self-love self-love yeah you need to know that you matter and yeah your feelings need to be taken into account exactly i I don't know so Mm -hmm. i would say that's a real deal breaker if i found out that you weren't really who you said you were like why this relationship isn't even real then exactly it's fake (laughs) imagine you said you were a doctor and then it turns out murder mystery (laughs) (laughs) literally i'm gonna try to die so tell me who the hell you are tell me who you are yeah also that would spark real trust issues i think in me um like why 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 so what are you actually thinking what are you doing on your off time what actually pleases you that's really scary that is scary yeah Mm. oh my god that is scary (laughs) that's no no so yep deal breaker Mm -mm. deal breaker deal breaker um okay open relationships no (laughs) hard no no let's just you you don't even have to talk about that like for some people that's okay Mm -hmm. but uh we're not we're not here to bash, bash you or me. anything, but these are just our personal opinions. Yeah. As what? a jealous female, me, mm. I do not like to no. share. That's and a hard no. Especially in this culture. Yeah. If if you guys watch our previous video, how we discuss uh, female friendships, you know that jealousy is a big part of the women's culture. Yeah. And um, in this day and age, I could not, I could not share myself with another set of women and one man knowing that everybody's so subliminally catty and yeah. nasty and yeah and even the other around i don't think that i would be able to share my stuff with another man just because it's exhausting like yeah. i have to remember what the other person like yeah. what you like what they don't like what one they relationship like. is definitely enough it's it's it has all these <laughs> deal breaker battles to exactly. fight through and now you want to add another person into the mix and it's just crazy but i do believe in like everybody's jealous like you just You can't see that person that you lust over and love over next to somebody else confidently. Oh, no. And I think that deep down inside, most people actually do feel a certain way towards it. But because the significant other likes that lifestyle, they're willing to try. And then maybe you convert over. Then that's when murder mysteries happen. Oh, yeah. Because you're like, you're happier with this person. And it's because of me. And you guys met because of me. No. no. I'm just... I'm good. We're good. I'm good. Yeah. It's a hard no for us. But I mean, to each his own. Yeah, exactly. it's no judgment. Um, no judgment at all. At but all. for us, no, no, no. All right, guys. So that brings us to the end of the relationship deal breakers. Yes, it does. Um, I hope you <laughs> had fun with this one. Literally, there are so many more out there um, that are crazier. Yeah. But I mean, if you love somebody, like we said, you will find a way to overcome all of these uh, pretty funny deal breakers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what's a uh, deal breaker for you guys? Like, let us know. Comment below. Let us know. Mm-hmm. Tell we, us what you think. We'd be glad to hear. Yeah. If they're funny, you know, serious, not mm-hmm. so serious. Not so serious. You know, you know sometimes, <laughs> I mean, if you're shallow, just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> go on with your life, with your bad stuff, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, this is Blended MTL, and we are out. Peace. Bye. Bye. Hey, what's that? I was like. <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll be like, ah. yeah. <laughs> As Megan would say, let me let me let me roll and roll. Let me let me let me roll and roll.